This video presents the improved user interface of RoofMaker. The roof elements created by ARCHICAD's RoofMaker have a new improved graphic user interface. In addition, a story-sensitive display of roofs is also available to help the documentation processes. Let's create a new roof structure using the RoofMaker wizard. We'll start by selecting this existing pitched roof on the floor plan view, and then activate the design, Roof Extras, Roof Maker, Roof Wizard Menu Command to open the Roof Wizard Settings dialog. Here we can precisely configure the structural members, rafters, beams, purlins, trimmers, and ridges of the roof. And we can also set some basic rules of how to create these structural elements. After adjusting all parameters, settings, and rules for the structural members of the roofs, the roof structure will be automatically generated and adjusted to support the previously selected roof element on the floor plan view. Here you can see the timber structure of the roof on the floor plan. Let's hide the layer of the roof element to have a better look at the timber roof structure generated by ARCHICAD's RoofMaker wizard. Let's display the structure in the 3D view. Let's open the Find and Select dialog from the Edit menu and create a selection criteria using a rafter element with the help of the Smart Cursor. Let's select all the rafters in the 3D view with the help of the Plus button and open their Settings dialog. Here, various parameters of the rafters can be modified. We can change their geometry, the roof edge angle, adjust rafter cut settings, as well as their floor plan display. We can specify projected, symbolic, outline, and the overhead view of the floor plan display of the rafters. The 2D and 3D attributes, including the representation of their axis and line type, can also be adjusted. Finally, the lumber size and symbol display of the timber structural elements can also be adjusted. Let's leave this dialog and return to the floor plan view. Please note that the floor plan view, the display of the visible and hidden parts of the roof structure, is displayed correctly. Let's have a closer look at the collar beam. Here, not only the geometry and the corresponding dimensions can be set, but the collar type and pivot plane can also be modified. Other previously presented settings are also available from the collar beams as well. Finally, let's have a look at the settings of the purlin. The geometry of purlins can be adjusted and various profile types can be selected. ARCHICAD provides a new advanced graphic user interface to edit the parameters of the structural elements of roofs to help the design development process.